is Chef Perry, the vegan gorilla. Welcome to the vegan gorilla cooking show. And today we're going to make a little, uh, little sweet treat. A little sweet treat. Uh, a little banana, a little cacao, cacao chocolate, uh, some peanuts, some peanut butter. Now, allergy alert. If you're allergic to peanut butter, peanuts, please don't make this and eat this or give it to anyone that is. Always ask first. Um, they can still watch the video and hit a like if they like and subscribe, but you know, but don't eat it, please. Uh, we don't need any of that happening. So, anyways, I've seen this on a few different uh, things over YouTube's and different uh, TikToks and whatever else they have, or talkity ticks or whatever you call it, different recipes. So, uh, I thought I'd give it a try. It looks like it could be pretty good and uh, give it a shot. So, I got some simple little bamboo skewers here. Some bananas. Now I do have a pot boiling, getting hot, not yet, with uh, double water. Hmm. I think it will have a hard time turning things off anymore. Well, such is life. So for a simple double boiler, because you can't just put the chocolate in there uh, really nearly like that and let it. Uh, Cook, it'll burn, so you want to steam it. So I got a little bit of water in the pot. Got my little bowl in there. And I got 70% uh, cocoa, cacao, chocolate in here. So it's vegan, it's not a milk chocolate, it's dark chocolate. So I got that, so we'll let that heat up a little bit. Meantime, we have some peanuts, which I'm gonna, I don't wanna have them on a bowl, I'm gonna toss them just for a second to uh, give them a little bit finer, smaller bits. Second to do that, put it all on the Ninja. Couple quick pulses, all we need. Or one, one and done. One and done. All right, let's keep our peanut butter. We have our love. Actually, let's put some love in that chocolate right now. Love. Gotta have love. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take our bananas. Ask gorillas love our bananas. So what I wanna do is we're gonna actually cut these in half. Slightly less than half on the bottom half because they're straight already. And so let's peel those simply. And we're just gonna make four for now. If they turn on good, I'll make a little bit off. And then pop these here. So I don't want to have, just for aesthetics, I don't want to have it like this. Cut that off a little bit. Do a little circumcision on the top. You know, you know. Just so that we can make it up a little bit more meter. Well, it's not quite straight, but it's enough. Don't wait. I just realized uh, after saying circumcision, I just eat those end bits, so I'm not sure if uh, I should have done that. Find over matter, find over matter. Okay, chocolate is starting to melt a little bit here. Let's get a little stir. That all melted up nice. It's a little process on this one, I don't know why. It's taking a while. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skewer these. So we're just gonna stick these right down the center, but not through in the top. When you eat these, these ones have a, a point on them, so obviously make sure you're careful when you're eating them. Otherwise you will make a point on a lot of things, including your mouth. So these ones I like, they're a little bit, I just got these at the dollar store. They're bamboo, they're like four-sided. So that way when I spin them, they spin as opposed to putting like a shish kebab type that's completely round, it'll make it tends to spin a little bit. So what we'll do is put that there. Well, this chocolate, just keep an eye on your chocolate all the time. Make sure it's melting nicely, nicely melting, but you don't want it to burn, so keep stirring it. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is I'm going to pour some of our crushed nuts on our clean cutting board. 
Then add the crushed nuts. Add the crushed nuts. All right, use a butter knife. I like everything about butter. Butter knife. Ah. All right, take a little peanut butter. And just spread that on. Doesn't have to be too thick. As thick as you want, as thin as you want. But obviously the peanut butter is going to help stick the uh, nuts to it. Let's coat the whole thing so we get the full experience. Okay. And I'm going to give that a little roll. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm missing a lot of peanut butter on that. Hang on, hang on. Coming through, not coming through. Now we got some. Okay, that's pre chocolate. Put that down there. Let's get the other ones done. Give that a quick stir. And I'll be right back. I'm actually going to just grab, that's going to be too long, so I'm going to grab a little cup. We can stand those up and keep those from the sides getting uh, the nuts coming off in there. So give me a second. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right. There. And yeah, let's try that one. Might even be too, too shallow. Butter or bananas. Again, you don't have to put it on too thick, but it's all up to you, whatever, it's whatever you like. Don't forget the tip. Oh yeah. All right. Get a little spinchy. A little spinchy in the, the nuts. Get all those nuts on there. All right. Dos. I don't know, that's not working very good. Put this down here. Okay, so the cup thing idea is not working. Let's just keep them rolled here. Finish this off. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. The old kid's song when I was, my boy was a little boy. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly, jelly. Anyone else know that song? All right, gives you the old dosey do roll, dosey do roll. Oh, I'm gonna pack it on there. All right, that's looking good. One more to go, one more to go. And then once this is, uh, we put the chocolate on, we're just gonna put it in the fridge for about a half hour to an hour. Let the chocolate uh, harden back up. And we'll come back, give it a taste test, and rate these uh, Gorilla Pops. I do Gorilla Pops. This is a Gorilla's favorite dessert right here. How could you go wrong with that? Every drill is going to want these. All right. Make sure we get them coat and covered. Covered. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Excellent, excellent. Okay, got a spoon. Spatula. Keep these bad boys covered. Get them covered. That's a bit of a process that you can see. It's not, chocolate's not runny runny. Okay, so I give them a little twirl like that so the chocolate runs. Then it's all on the one side. Hmm. Oh. 
keep this nice and moist, liquidy. Let's finish the rest of them. See if I can roll this in here a little bit. All right. Done. All right, let me get this mess cleaned up. I'm gonna pop these babies in the fridge. We'll be back, we'll give it a little taste test in about half hour, 45 minutes to an hour. I'll give you my, uh, my notions on that. I'm gonna save these ones, these little nut things, because uh, I'll probably end up making some more, to be honest, so. Uh, I'm gonna add the rest into the peanut butter, make crunchy peanut butter for my toast. That's a great idea. All right. I'm gonna get crunchy peanut butter. You have to buy that store about crunchy stuff. You can buy it smooth and just add your own nuts. Anyway, not for that. I'll play with that after. I'll be back. Let me clean up. We'll see you in a bit. Hello, gorillas. I am back. It's been about 45 minutes. Uh, have these babies in the fridge. And uh, they look pretty good. Let's give it a try. See what happens. All covered in chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm. Very nice. Can you from the banana inside? It tastes the uh, peanut butter, the chocolate. Peanut butter and chocolate is close together. I mean, it's a no-brand situation. <laughs> that, that's always going to be good. I'm going to have to rate this a uh, four, four gorillas. And I would give it a five because the taste is spot on, but mainly my error because I didn't um, come up with a creative way to uh, put these in the fridge and so just laying them down. So I'm losing a point or one gorilla for my presentation, as you can see flat on the one side. Yeah, it's not good. I want to be completely around, so I'll come up with something where I can just sort of stick them in, standing up, maybe like a uh, sponge of some sort or whatever. But I'll figure out something else rather than just hanging it flat down in the fridge. That way the whole the whole thing looks symmetrical and looks nice presentation. It's all part of the uh, engineering, right? So anyways, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. And if you have any allergies, peanut butter, peanut butter, please don't make this and eat it. I uh, agree with anyone that does. And uh, if I don't see you again, or when I do see you again, I'm stay. Much love. And you can't defeat me. See ya. Mm.